Gigabyte has put in quite a bit of effort to support all of the new features that come with the new XMP standard. Let's have a quick overview. First, in easy mode, you can select the different XMP profiles with the click of a button. So no need to access the advanced options to benefit from XMP. In the advanced mode, there's more options. DDR5 Auto Booster will increase the memory frequency from DDR5 4800 to DDR5 5000. DDR5 XMP Booster lists pre-configured memory profiles for a variety of DDR5 ICs. In my BIOS version, I only get Micron and Hynix, but I expect more profiles for other ICs in future BIOS releases. Extreme Memory Profile gives you access to XMP profiles on your memory module. As mentioned before, XMP 3.0 offers three vendor profiles and two user profiles. In this case, only the three vendor profiles show because I have not made any custom profile myself. In the Advanced Memory Settings submenu, you will find even more options. SPD Info provides you with the SPD information of each of your memory modules. SPD Setup is an experimental feature that allows you to create custom XMP profiles. Entering the SPD Setup submenu opens up a world of memory tuning options. By far my favorite feature is the Performance Index. The index provides you with a quick overview of which XMP profile will give you the most performance. As you can see, while XMP2 gives us the highest frequency at DDR5-6400, XMP1 and 3 should give us better performance at DDR5-6200. I don't know the way the performance index is calculated or I'm able to gauge its accuracy, but it's a good starting point nonetheless. Then we also see the two XMP 3.0 user profiles. These fields are entirely programmable by the user. In the selection menu below the profile columns, we can find a couple of easy options to set the user profile. Clear will clear the custom profile. Current will load the DRM settings currently set in the BIOS. JDAC will load the JDAC DDR4 4800 settings. XMP1, XMP2, XMP3 will load the settings from the respective XMP profiles. Micron 1234 and Hynix 1234 will load the pre-configured memory profiles from the DDR5 XMP Boost menu we saw earlier. Of course, we can also manually change the values. Clicking Set will flash the SPD with our profile. We will now be able to select it upon reboot. By selecting the user profiles, they will also show up in the Performance Index chart. This will help us evaluate how well our new profiles are scoring against the vendor-provided XMP profiles. As I mentioned, we will be able to select the custom user profiles upon reboot. However, we must make sure to set memory boot mode to disable fast boot. Let's reboot. As you can see, we can find five profiles in the extreme memory profile option. Selecting profile five provides us with the DDR5-6600 profile we customized before. I was keen on figuring out how Gigabyte had approached this totally new architecture and totally new DDR5 memory. I was most impressed with the work that Gigabyte had put into the DDR5 aspect of Alder Lake overclocking. There are plenty of new memory tuning features, including the SPD setup, which open up a lot more uh, tuning opportunities.